in a sense, this is what I was talking to Jared Rich about yesterday, was I was, okay, I'm someone that grew up, we moved like 30 times when I was a kid, and then I was in the military. I've moved probably, I don't even know how many times as an adult either. So many times, probably close to that amount of time. And I've always liked to keep things minimal, but um, even just living here for about a year with a two bedroom, we were already accumulating a lot of junk. And so it felt good. I took down 10 bags of trash, of those bags you guys saw, without even really noticing. Like nothing that I actually wear on a daily basis or probably ever will wear again. And people will probably have so much stuff like that. You guys should go through your closets. If it's freeing, it feels good. Don't say, I might wear this one time and I'll re-. you you'll fucking buy a new thing if you really need that thing so much in the future. You don't need to hold on to it for twenty years for one time, for one day. And it collects dust, waste space, you move it, people move junk. Jet Rich's family is the worst for they put literally trash in boxes I could when I moved with him the first time I said oh you guys like because they just get movers and they just packed up everything I was like he's putting just trash in the boxes okay one of the things you know I said all right we'll deal with it later one of the things that Joy Joy taught me was that she taught me to uh yeah she taught me how to live minimally anyways um I am taking these down to the dumpster, but what I do is I put the stuff in front and I put a sign saying, you know, free stuff, because here's the deal. We are minimizing because we are about to leave for Panama, and what's cool is it gives us the opportunity to realize what we really use, what we need, what we care about. We don't blow dry our hair anymore. We actually frown upon blow drying hair, and I actually hate ironing clothes. I don't buy things that need to be ironed, and if they are wrinkly, I usually wear them anyways. Um, and I'm not bringing this on a plane, and I'm not bringing this on a plane. So I'm gonna put these outside and let someone else have them. That's what's cool here. Um, Lenny was worried on Twitter that they were just going into the dumpster and going to the dump. But what it is is I put them in front of the dumpsters and you put a sign, and people here are always doing that. And then we've picked up stuff before from the dumpster too. Um, you put it in front, not in the cans. And then people know, hey, it's free stuff. So. Here we go. It's really good. You, you, you tend to not want to move, but I tell you what, it is so freeing because you get rid of stuff. It's really important. Hey everyone, so I have been cleaning out my closet now for two days. I didn't even think I had very much stuff, and not just the closet, the whole place because we're going to be moving, but we live in a two bedroom. I didn't even think I had very much stuff, and yesterday I already took down seven trash bags of stuff, of literally stuff that I probably will never wear again. Uh, maybe if we had stayed here, maybe I would have worn again, but definitely won't wear for Panama, but probably would have never even worn here. You know, you just accumulate things and you don't want to get rid of them because you were so attached. And these things were holding me back. I wasn't even wanting to move because I was so worried about these things that I literally took to the trash can. But here's the thing, which is really cool. I actually put these on next to the trash can and I put, uh, free clothes and shoes and I put some of my costumes so people could see it was nice stuff and all of it was gone this morning people took all of it like people took it in uh, in steps like I'd seen somebody got taken and then someone came back for more so I'm super excited about that okay so here we go I got some more trash bags check this out three more of just stuff like one of these has um, stuff that was under the bed this one was under the bed of just um, old sheets that we're not going to use. This is more clothes I was able to get rid of. Um, this is just literally like trash from the closet of things that I don't need that I won't, I'm just going to throw out. And okay, here we come. So I had, my closet was so full. Now I've spread everything about like, every, like everything was packed, you know, like close together. Now I've spread everything out. This and I, Each day I come in here and I'm like, okay, do I really need this? Do I really need this? So we've come down to here, to here. And then if Jerry Rich comes in here, if people had ever seen my closet before, we have some old, it, it was packed. There was costumes. Now, if you come in here, Jerry Rich will see it is just barren. It's down to like just hangers and I have like four little jacket things barely anything up here these are for our bongs which we'll hopefully put those in storage the ones we don't I'll throw out these boxes but these all I was using all of these hangers I was using all these hangers and I've got rid of that much crap easily with no problem there's my show my little sign back here <laughs> did you show my sign I, I yeah and then I got rid of shoes 
Um, these are the only shoes I have, and I'll probably might not even keep all of these. But probably the back row is going to go in storage. The back row definitely in storage. Uh, this storage, storage. These are coming to Panama, I think. So I think just these and these, probably just these shoes are going to Panama. All this is going to go to storage or be left. But these will come because these are good walking shoes. These will be for work, work shoes right here. But Panama is, is uh, real humid, so you don't want, like, full shoes or boots. So I got rid of, uh, if anyone's seen before, I had tons of boots. I got rid of those already yesterday. Brought them down there. Someone got all that stuff, so I'm really happy. Um, yeah, it, it feels good. It feels freeing. All right, grab your stuff and I'll follow you up. Yeah. Do you want to hold the microphone for you? Sure, because I got all yeah. this stuff. someone down there wants it and then I put it next to the trash can not inside the trash can so yesterday yes let me get my my hat Yesterday, all my stuff got taken. <laughs> Every time you say that, I think, I'm like, what, what got stolen? Yeah, no, I yesterday, I, 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 um, I was so happy because yesterday I took down some really nice things and I didn't want them to just get thrown out. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy about that. that someone grabbed all that. So. Yes. Do I do miss some glasses? No, 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 it's not even right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, you were holding that because I'm grabbing this bill. I hold the mic. I go like this. I can hold the mic. What's going on there? Okay, so we fed the pigeons, even though we're not allowed to. But we don't care now because we're leaving, so they can find us, whatever. I don't care. Arrest me. We're going to Panama. Oh my gosh, look at the sunrise coming out. With those pink clouds. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna. This is. This is like ten, bags number eight, nine, and ten. I took down seven bags yesterday of stuff that I just don't even really use. Oops, someone's on the stairs. We know it's next door. That's what's up, though. Yeah, I'll have a nice morning. Keeps us in form. <laughs> Jedi Ridge. Cool. You look good. I like your shirt. Jedi Ridge has a shirt that someone had given to me. It's a medium Calvin Klein. Now that's a big deal for him because he used to be extra large, even 2XL at some point when we were in Vegas. And now today I put a medium shirt in his closet. He didn't even know. And he put it on and it fits just great. He didn't even realize that it's a medium, huh, Jerry Rich? Oh, you didn't even realize. He didn't even realize he's wearing a size medium. And yesterday I gave him a size small men's jacket and it fit. It was one of my beast mode ones and it fit him. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'll go that way. So, uh, this is really cool. Well, All from Eaton, no Oregon. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so this one, this one is just trash. So I'm gonna toss that out there. But this one I put over here. This is blankets, someone might want that. This is free clothes. Yesterday I put seven bags here and someone came and got them. Someone had, for, I, I kept coming out because I was taking out more stuff and I'd see some would be taken and then I'd put more and then more got taken and then this morning it's all gone. So I'd put like five costumes, like Halloween costumes too, in front of the bags um, so people could tell it was nice stuff. So I'm sure some kids love that. It was like a Cinderella costume and a Catwoman costume and a cat costume and a panda bear costume. And they weren't like super sexy. They were actually probably better for children. They were supposed to be sexy, but they weren't all that sexy. <laughs> they were more like kids would look better in them. They were kind of silly. But so I took photos, but then, you know, I'm never going to wear those again. I was going to hold on to them forever. But since we're moving, it was time to let them go. And it feels so freeing because these things were actually holding me back. Like I felt I couldn't even move because I had all these things that I wanted to keep. And now I ended up taking the trash. The 10 trash bags of stuff without even really noticing. Like, you know what I mean? Like in the sense of like, I still have everything that I wear on a regular basis. That was just stuff that I've only worn maybe once or twice, um, or maybe wore a lot, but just I'm not gonna wear anymore because it's either worn out or I'm just tired of the style. Um, and a lot of people have stuff that doesn't fit them anymore. With me and Jai Ridge, we actually have stuff that's too big now. We used to have the problem, you know, if uh, things would get too small. Now everything gets too big on us. Let me see, I have, a, um, hold on, let me check. I can't see. I have an Amazon order. I have an Amazon order coming too. I have an Amazon order coming with some water and um, a couple of toiletry items like paper towels and wipes. I love a the Amazon orders, but uh, I actually prefer to be able to just go by myself and. Person. See, I was I knew the tra garbage man was coming today because it was Monday. So I was really hoping that people took the stuff before it just got thrown out, and it, it did. So I was really happy about that. I kept putting it by the trash can, not in the trash can, so then people know. That happens a lot here at these um, weeklies. People move a lot, so that often stuff gets left at the trash and you can you know when it's put by the trash you kind of know that it's still something good people will do that inside the trash it's another story but when they put it in front of the trash can it's kind of like here i'm moving maybe someone could use this so because people move around from the wow what a beautiful morning this is amazing gosh oh this is out of control this is like what the kid oh my gosh this is disgusting it's getting worse i mean i get that they're out in a field but they should still pick up their dog poo because this is getting out of control we haven't been out here in months and this has gotten way worse there's poo everywhere because what happens is they pick up their dog poo when they're over there, but then they let their dogs run out here. And you think, oh, it's a field, no problem. But now, I mean, it, it's like, it, so much dog poo, it's ridiculous. That's crazy. It's everywhere, look at over there. It looks like, um, it looks like horses were through here or cows, like, you know, like when like, you see cow patties and, but it's, but it's small, so it's like dog. Oh, um, I also need to, so many things this morning. I'm going to this morning. Um, yeah, come with me. That, no, no, we have time. I'm just saying, but this, oh, oh pause. Don't start a new file. Just hit stop. Uh, is that going? Yeah. What's disturbing in Las Vegas is there's so many people like on meth um, and meth, like you're just so out there when you're on it. And so it's it's very strange to see. So like this guy right now, he was walking our way, the homeless man, and now he's just kind of messing with his own shit. But um, it's like clearly he's like on something because he keeps like pulling at himself and fucking with this stuff. But it's unfortunate because you know 
not all drugs are bad, but some of the ones that are man-made are the ones that are bad. The ones from Earth are not so bad, like weed. and that, Yeah, so I'm saying the man-made ones. So things like meth um, is all man-made. And those are the ones that are really in getting... Oh, my. This is amazing. I'm so glad we get to see this because... Did you bring your camera by chance? I did not. I didn't. I thought we were just going to the trash, unfortunately. Yeah, you but you know what? We could stop the recording. Um, yeah. Uh, tell you what. Just uh, stop the recording temporarily. Yeah. Okay. So this morning I have a plan. So get this, you guys. So I like to keep my Amazon wish list gifts usually, and I wasn't planning on returning uh, any of the most recent stuff I got. But now that we're moving to Panama, I said, you know what? Let me just see if any of this is returnable of the stuff that I, uh, you know, can't use. And one thing is that big black Panama hat. Even though it's a wink that says Panama, I'm super excited. But it's just going to be too hard to travel with, and it's not going to be super useful there. It's more for style than actual use. So I thought, you know, let me just scan and see if it's still available. And it turned. I scanned it yesterday, which was Sunday, and the UPS was not even open, and it says it had to be returned by today, July 27th. So I only have today to do it but I couldn't even believe that it was still available to return so I'm returning one dress and one hat this morning I'm gonna grab the bus but it was just one of those winks of like oh yeah you have till tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow is your last day return when I thought it was like gonna be expired already anyways see that guy's still over there tweaking he just nothing. I mean, playing with his shoes. He's playing with the shirt. It's just called. Well, what happens is they are in another dimension, in a sense. So he might be doing something totally different than what we see that he's doing. You know, in, in his mind, he's. I mean, he's about to get hit by a car. I think is he in the street? <laughs> um, but he might be, you know, on Mars right now and, and checking out some moon rocks. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? So meth is you're usually in a different place. Um, you're seeing things differently. I know we did it one time and I was a lot off my rocker within a couple hours. Like I was... I think your big question was how do people get addicted to this? Oh, I know. I couldn't believe it because within a couple hours, I was seriously felt insane. Like I was um, uh, seeing all kinds of things and not in a good way. You'd think, you know, some some drugs like weed you're going to see. But this was more like everything was like, what the hell is going on? It was just scary and frightening and intense and just not pleasant at all I was like and I am someone that would pretty much do any drug back then and I tried that once and was like no thanks <laughs> you know where I was pretty open to most drugs back then too and I was like no thank you that is just not the kind of high I like tweaking out like that and tweaking out that's what happens too is by not sleeping or eating actually makes you more insane quicker than the actual drug um, and the drug makes you not want to eat or sleep so the drug of course is causing that but the actual act of not sleeping or eating makes a person crazy because you need to reset your brain at night you need sleep otherwise you will go insane and so it's not permanent people think that um, people that do drugs you make come get the sun over here it's rising I'll get it oh, it's looking good though oh, good. um look at it coming up at you mama he's not that all that interested now because look at the sun over here it looks beautiful sun rays are amazing this morning oh man more interesting than that guy <laughs> but that was what's interesting is um that Vegas has a real issue with that, like, and then they made it illegal to be homeless. So it, they bring all the people here, you know, it's all about alcohol and drugs and gambling and sex and stuff, and then once you get hooked on those things, then they want to kick you out yeah. <laughs> and arrest you. So it, it's just... Bad karma. Bad yeah, karma. yeah. Bad karma. See, there's no problem with either one of those things. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no problem with... Why don't you go walk in front of your camera for a minute? Just amazing that we got to experience this um, because this is actually a very beautiful day like the weather is perfect I'm really happy because we used to come out here um, a lot over winter but it was cold so it was, sure wasn't as pleasant as now but yeah um, and what Jai Rich was just saying is so Jai Rich was saying it's monsoon season and this is beautiful clouds this morning with the sunrise the weather is perfect it actually the clouds make it really cool right now because actually 
um, in the last couple of days, you know, it would already be pretty warm by this time, but it feels very pleasant today because of all these clouds. I, I love it. It it reminds me of Panama. It's it's perfect on our journey to Panama here because they have really intense weather there, like where, it, but not like in the sense of cold. Just uh, it's like usually 80 degrees but like they'll have these crazy thunderstorms out of nowhere when you're walking around like almost every day a, a thunderstorm will come through so it's really fun weather there um but i'm excited that we are minimizing so and what i learned by minim living minimally is that you don't think about you have much less worries you're lighter you're f more free, I think that's a good way to put it. Yeah, here, and I wanted to comment. So this shirt, so Jedi Rich, this is a big deal. Um, when I met Jedi Rich, he was, you know, he was uh, looking pretty good at that point. No, fuck. listen, listen to what I was going to say. He was looking pretty good because he had been doing Atkins, but he was still, I would say, what were you uh, at weight at that when you were doing the Atkins? Oh, God, uh, 200. 250 or something but then as we were together his weight climbed up to I want to say probably close to 340 we we calculated we weighed it at 325 but he had climbed up higher than that and then it started to come down before we started weighing him but anyways he's always been extra large if not even more when he was bigger he was up to 2xl I think one time we've gotten 3xl on something that shirt he's wearing today is a medium Calvin Klein. And Calvin Klein's run small, so it's just a cool moment for him today. And it's not to brag to people if they don't understand. No, we have spent years figuring out our diet. We eat all organics, we eat a very strict diet, and we don't drink caffeine, we don't drink alcohol, we only drink water. And so now we're very proud of the bodies that we've achieved through diet, by eating right. And I mean diet by eating right. People think a diet is like these fad diets, like starving yourself. No, by actually just doing a healthy organic diet. Oh, this is wonderful. That's wonderful. I know, there's so much out here. It's insane. So look at this way, the mountains. That's what's cool up, I guess. Come over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'll watch this dog poo. There's so much. Well, this is all dog poo right here. Oh. It's like a pile of dog poos. I'll go right here. That's all dog shit right there. It's disgusting. I can't believe how much dog poos out here since... I mean, it's like, it makes it look like there's, like, black stuff out here if you were to look like black rocks. Yeah. Like, oh, look at all those black rocks or something if you look black from a distance. Rocks. Yeah. But it's just do dog turds. Oh, I see the pigeons over there. <laughs> They're the babies. Yep. So is it. Oh, beautiful mornings. Yeah, so I have, I'm going to go grab the bus this morning to return those items. Um, and then, actually, we have a super busy day today. Um, I have two clients today. And then we also are getting our passports. Oh, Richard, I have to fill out those forms and print them out today. We can't forget. Um, maybe, but, uh, well, yeah, with the printing out, of course. Yeah, I figured it out the other day, actually, pretty good on my own, but well, actually, I probably don't need your help, but um, I do need to get those forms for the passports because we have an appointment tonight at 6.30 at the, at the um, post office to get our passports. So we got the passport photos yesterday, and then uh, we got, oh, we got Jedi Rich's birth certificate, and mine is either coming in the mail today or we have to go get it from storage because I actually still have a birth certificate. The problem with mine is it's a really bad copy. So we had ordered a new one, but if it doesn't come in time, I'm just going to use the really bad copy. Um, it's it's really bad. Like I hope like I've been using it since I was three because my mom ordered like the special one when I was three when we went to Mexico. But it's so dilapidated now. Yeah. What was I going to say? About the karma. Which of karma? Vegas, of the homeless people and stuff. Right. You know, that's just a bad karma what they're doing there. You know, like, it's fine to go ahead and want to make money off people. And it's, and it's absolutely your prerogative to give all your money away to a business if you want to. And it's fine for them to keep taking it as long as you want. It's also fine for you to say, hey, man, we don't want no homeless or poor people on our, littering our streets. But you can't have both, man. You got to figure out which way you're going to go. Because when you combine the two of those, it makes it look really bad to the, to the universe. Like, hey, we love taking your money until you don't have any. 
you yeah. see? Now, if you're the, the, the society that said, we don't ever want homeless or poor people here, like where I came from, I mean, you couldn't be homeless in my town. You would, they would, you know, ship you off somewhere else. Yeah. They'd arrest, they'd hassle you. So, but at the same time, no one would, had a casino there and no one was, was, was selling those same people alcohol and drugs and, and gambling every time they got $10. So you see how, how when you play both sides, it, it's not, you're like, well, what's wrong? Why can't we have, we don't want homeless people, but it's everything else that you're doing, you see? So you have to take it all in context and yep. that's enough from the producer. No, that was good. That was good. I think it's. Um, but, this, but this is this is this has got to. This, oh, this is gross. Don't step in it. Don't step in it. Don't step in it. We did see some pretty big human poops in the street. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, I think uh, that'll close okay. up because I'm gonna actually um, pretty soon get the show on the road. It's a busy day for us because, like I said, we got. Um, Wait, let me come out there. Let's talk about the day. Yeah, let's let's re let's talk about what, our, what we got going on today. It's a busy day. Okay, let's go. So first off, I'm heading to the the Walmart area where there's the UPS um, to return the items. That's what I'm gonna do in a minute. I gotta uh, grab on the bus. So everything takes longer because you know we're in, in bus and Uber transportation. <coughs> in Ubers these days, you have to wait 20, 30 minutes for them to show up. So nothing is quick now. So we, I'm gonna do that. And then um, I have an Amazon order coming here this morning. Then we got, uh, I have two appointments today, which that's good because that'll help with Panama. And then at 6.30 p.m., we are going to the post office. But here's the thing. If my passport, or not passport, if my birth certificate doesn't come in the mail today, we have to also go to storage before the post office um, appointment. So, and all of these things with Uber can take up to like an hour in just transportation, you know? So you really have to plan your day. So we're gonna have a jam-packed day. Yes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks, guys. Jedi in Panama. And watch us go to Panama. Yeah. It's for real. We're going. Hashtag Jedi in Panama. We're going. So we're uh, so join us. Uh, yeah, well, join us in our journey. I know a lot of you are like, I can't go to Panama. But we just mean join us in our journey. All right. Thanks, everyone.